Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we are going to be tackling a CompTIA Tech Plus practice test. Ideal if you're starting your IT journey or preparing for certification. This exam focuses on the fundamentals. Hardware, software, networking basics, troubleshooting, and IT best practices. We'll be using Skilltest Pro, which provides realistic exam-style questions to help you learn by doing and by building real confidence. All right, let's dive in. First question. Which of these is the main function of an operating system? To provide network services? To process user inputs? To create applications? To manage hardware and software resources? Or to monitor system security? The correct answer is to manage hardware and software resources. The operating system manages the computer's hardware and software, providing an interface between users and the system. All right, question two. What type of cable is used for high-speed data transmission in a network? Is it a coaxial cable, a twisted pair cable, USB cable, fiber optic cable, or HDMI cable? The correct answer is a fiber optic cable. All right, next question. What is the function of a VPN? Encrypts internet traffic and hides the user's IP address? Filters out spam emails? Prevents unauthorized Wi-Fi connections? Secures network traffic using a firewall? Or manages user access rights? The correct answer is encrypts internet traffic and hides the user's IP address. A VPN, or Virtual Private Network, encrypts your internet traffic and masks your IP address, providing privacy and security online. All right, next question. What is the purpose of an antivirus program? Is it to block unauthorized websites? To protect a system from malicious software? To monitor system performance? To create backups of important data? Or to improve network speed? The correct answer is to protect a system from malicious software. Antivirus software detects and removes malicious programs such as viruses, worms, and spyware that can harm a system. All right, next question. What does the BIOS in a computer stand for? The Basic Integrated Operating System? The Basic Input-Output System? The Binary Input-Output System? boot input output software, or basic intelligent operating system? The correct answer is basic input output system. The BIOS is firmware that provides basic functionality for booting the computer and initializing hardware components. All right, question six. What is the role of a switch in a network? Boosts Wi-Fi signals? Protects against power surges? Assigns IP addresses to devices? Directs data to the correct devices within the network? Or routes the data between networks? The correct answer is directs data to the correct devices within the network. A switch operates within a local area network, or LAN, and directs data packets to the appropriate devices on the same network. All right, question seven. Which of the following is a key reason to perform regular backups? To reduce power consumption, to ensure that data is recoverable in case of failure, to increase processing speed, to prevent malware infections, or to improve network security. The correct answer is to ensure that data is recoverable in case of failure. Regular backups ensure that data can be restored in the event of data loss due to hardware failure, user error, or malware. All right, question eight. What does the acronym HTTP stand for? Hypertransfer Text Protocol, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, High Transfer Technical Protocol, Hypertest Text Protocol, or High Tier Transfer Protocol? The correct answer is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP is the protocol that's used for transferring web pages over the internet. All right, question nine. Which of these is a type of wireless networking standard? Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 
Ethernet, fiber optic, or USB? The correct answer is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a wireless networking standard used to connect devices to a network without the need for cables. All right, question 10. Which of the following is an example of a solid state drive? Floppy disk, hard disk drive, USB flash drive, magnetic tape drive, or an optical drive? The correct answer is a USB flash drive. USB flash drives are a type of solid state storage, meaning that they have no moving parts and they offer faster data transfer than traditional hard drives. All right, you guys are doing great. Let's keep going. Question 11. What is a common symptom of malware on a computer? Slower system performance? Frequent software crashes? Increased network traffic? Unusual pop-up ads? Or all of the above? Yeah, the correct answer is all of the above. Malware can cause slow performance, crashes, increased network traffic, and unwanted pop-ups, among other symptoms. All right, question 12. What type of memory is installed on a motherboard in order to improve system performance? Is it cache memory, secondary storage, virtual memory, USB memory, or optical storage? The correct answer is cache memory. Cache memory is fast temporary storage located on or near the CPU that speeds up access to frequently used data. All right, question 13. What is the purpose of a DNS server? To encrypt network traffic? Filter unwanted websites? Manage network traffic? Translate domain names to IP addresses? Or provide remote access to systems? The correct answer is translate domain names to IP addresses. A domain name system, or DNS server, translates human-readable domain names into machine-readable IP addresses. All right, question 14. Which of these is an example of non-volatile memory? RAM, cache, USB flash drive, cache, twice, or registers? The correct answer is a USB flash drive. Non-volatile memory, such as USB flash drives, retains data even when power is removed. RAM is volatile memory and loses data when the power is turned off. All right, question 15. Which of the following would most likely cause a computer to crash? A loose power cable? A corrupted hard drive sector? A high-resolution display? An underpowered CPU? or a correctly configured firewall? The correct answer is a corrupted hard drive sector. A corrupted sector on a hard drive can cause data to become unreadable, which may lead to system crashes or instability. All right, question 16. What is the standard voltage for most desktop computer power supplies? V220V? 110V? 240V? 12V or 5V? The correct answer is 110 volts. In North America, most desktop power supplies use 110 volts as the standard input voltage, whereas in other regions, like Europe, it may be 220 volts or 240 volts. All right, next question. What is the function of a router in a network? Provides Wi-Fi connectivity? blocks unauthorized access, stores the backup data, assigns IP addresses and directs traffic, or regulates the CPU performance? The correct answer is assigns IP addresses and directs traffic. Routers route data between devices on different networks and assign IP addresses to devices in local networks. All right, question 18. What is the primary function of a CMOS battery? Stores BIOS settings and keeps the system clock running? Provides backup power to the CPU? Controls network traffic? Powers the USB ports? Or maintains system memory during shutdown? The correct answer is stores the BIOS settings and keeps the system clock running. 
The CMOS battery powers the motherboard CMOS chip, which stores BIOS settings and keeps the system clock running when the computer's powered off. All right, doing great. Two more. Which protocol is used for sending email? FTP? IMAP? SMTP? SNMP? Or POP3? The correct answer is SMTP. Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, or SMTP, is the protocol used for sending emails, while IMAP and POP3 are used for receiving emails. All right, one more. Question 20. What is the purpose of a heat sink in a computer? Absorbs and dissipates heat from the CPU, increases processing speed, stores temporary data, provides power to the motherboard, or connects peripherals to the system? Yeah, the correct answer is absorbs and dissipates heat from the CPU. A heat sink helps dissipate heat that is generated by components like the CPU and the GPU preventing them from overheating. And that is a wrap for this round of Tech Plus practice questions. Great job making it through, everybody. Remember this, the best way to prepare is to practice. The more questions you take, the sharper you're going to be on exam day. I've added the link to Skill Test Pro in the description and in the pinned comment down below so that you can explore their full set of practice tests. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep practicing.